Yo, 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 this is Chris Blair. I'm just sitting here actually enjoying dinner by myself tonight. Um, don't really have any plan, I was just working, but I guess, you know, you can only work so day, all day, so much, and you relax. So here I am, just relaxing, enjoying my evening. Um, I just started actually. And I was just thinking about one of the most common complaints I see in the marketplace. Like when I go into in Facebook groups um, for Ecom or for Shopify or even Teespring for that matter, um, I see tons of complaints in the groups about, you know, yesterday I did $2,000 in sales on $500 NAT spend. Today I have $500 NAT spend and I have $700 in sales. Why are my results so inconsistent? Okay. Um, that's a, that's something that that's a reality of this business, and I want to talk about that. Um, some some causes for that, and potential some solutions for this. Okay. So just so you guys know a little bit about me. I mean, these days there are a lot of gurus out there, and and. I, a lot of them have great intention and they're teaching some great stuff, so I'm not being critical of any guru. Of them, you know, I know people that say, oh, don't, don't trust or don't follow the other gurus. I think there's a lot of teachers and trainers out there who really teach some awesome stuff. But I think it's also important for me to establish to you that I'm not some newbie, right? New to this place and, and I'm not some flash in the pan, okay? I've been doing e-com since 2012. I was so successful as a Teespring seller that they invited me to speak at their first event ever, which was in London actually. Um, it, was a, it was a group event between their Teespring in the United States and Fabody, which was their, their sister company in Europe. Um, they had a big event and I was, I was lucky and fortunate they, they flew me out to London, they put me up in London and I had a great time. I spent two nights in London on their dime, I spent another night on my own dime. Um, they pay for my effort and everything, so it was a great experience. I have been running a Shopify store since 2015. Um, I have a couple of Shopify stores, and and just I want to prove to you without a doubt that I'm someone who, speaking from credibility, I've revealed several times in these live streams. You can go check out one of my businesses. Um, you know, I don't hide everything like everyone else does. One business I'm, I'm a partnership with, I can't really reveal that, but this one I'm solely the 100% owner of, I'm happy to reveal that to you. It's called Last Beer Standing. Last, as in L-A-S-T, Beer Standing. Uh, you guys know I'm a beer drinker, so it's a beer theme site. You go check out the fan page, it's got almost 600,000 fans. We, it's, it's a massively successful uh, website on Shopify. So go check it out for yourself. Uh, if you don't, don't trust that I'm, I'm, I'm seeking from experience and, and, and can offer true value. Let me just, sorry, the little thing is ringing here. Okay, sorry. I forgot to, this is interesting, in Japan you order from this little touch panel at a lot of restaurants and I forgot to finalize my order. So that's why it was, it was ringing, bing, 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 it was reminding me that hey, you didn't actually, you still put it in your cart, but you didn't actually select. It's like kind of a cart abandonment <laughs> on, on the little touch panel at, your, at the restaurant. It's pretty funny actually. Okay, so let's dig into the topic at hand. Why you're getting inconsistent results and some things you can do about this. So first of all, first and foremost, okay, you're not selling to robots, period. Okay, you are selling to human beings who don't always behave in the same way every single day. That's just the reality and that will never change. So there will be ups and downs in this business, period. It's unavoidable accept it okay so the way i like to look at things is i like to look at a week span and say to myself overall is my business good in the given week i totally understand and accept that in that week i'll have several very profitable days i'll have some days where i make a small profit even have some break-even days and and guys whoa this is how transparent i am believe it or not mr guru has been in this business 2012 I actually about two to three times a month have days where I lose money. I actually spend more money on my ads than the, than, than the revenue that comes back. That fucking happens. And that happens, guys, on every fucking website that I know, including people in, in this high-level mastermind I mean, that people pay $10,000 a year to be part of. Guys doing companies doing millions of dollars in sales. They actually have some days they lose. But no one talks about that. They just, they, they just put that... Done. But guys, two to three days a month, I actually lose money on my websites. It happens. 
But the point is, every single month, overall, I'm very profitable. Okay? All right. So I just wanted to just give you the honest truth. You can't expect to make money every day. That's just not the reality of this business. Okay? All right. Now, so one thing that I like to do is I like to track daily trends in a niche. Okay? And it's something I teach my coaching students to do. And something I, I, I've seen many, many different niches. Okay? Let me give you an example. Okay? So in my niche, for whatever reason, I, I have my own theory. I think it has something to do with maybe the you know, beer drinkers go out drinking on the weekend. They typically are not, don't, I'm not very motivated. They don't like working, right? They have to go to work on Monday morning and they're sort of, you know, they were out drinking on Friday, maybe even Thursday, Friday, Saturday night. They're not getting a lot of sleep. And then they wake up on Friday and they're feeling like shit and they're not motivated and they just, I can, I can guarantee you that Monday is going to be not good for my, in my niche. I can guarantee it. So I almost never, ever launch. I save myself a lot of pain and frustration and money by never launching new ads on Mondays. I know that that's going to happen. I, I, I can calculate. And the reason I know that is because I, over, the, over months and years of working this, in this niche, I track the trend. Now, in the beginning, right, you won't be able to do that. You won't be able to do that. But as you get more experience in your niche, you'll be able to understand what days are typically good and what days are bad. Let me give you the flip side of it. I've worked with three people, three people in the grammar niche. And Monday is great. Monday sales skyrocket. And I have another theory for that. My theory is that on, on a Monday, right, right, typically kids go to school, right, well, unless they're really small kids, but from like kindergarten, right, and, most, and then these days most parents work, so it's roughly nursery school from like three or four, right? So after about the age of three or four, they start going to nursery school. So the weekend is the only time when, when they're totally free, and then the grandparents come over and they spend a lot of time with, the, with, their, with their grandchildren, and they're, they're pumped up and motivated, and then when they're on, back on Facebook, they see an ad that's related to their grandkid, and they just like, they impulse buy, okay? Because they just had a really good, fuzzy feeling about spending time with their grandchildren, okay? So Mondays are awesome in the grammar niche. I mean, just awesome. In fact, they explosive sales on Mondays, okay? So you can take advantage of that. So the point is, every niche is different. So I can't, I can't tell you, hey, look, this niche is good, that this, these days are good, for your niche, you have to go back and, and, get, and develop months of experience and start to pay attention to that because it's really important because it will save you a lot of time and trouble. You will know the days not to scale, okay? All right, next. Seasonal, right? There are some seasonal trends, okay? That's just the reality, okay? August is typically slow. Uh, January is slow unless you overcome that with winter products like jackets and things like that. But typically, there's seasonal trends, and, and, and this affects everyone, okay? All right. It's got a new beer. Thank you very much. All right, now, let's talk about the next one. Okay. This is a big one, okay? Facebook can be a pain in the butt. It, it's awesome because you can really target and, and have success with it, but it's also a pain. You have to feed it all the time, okay? So one of the biggest mistakes people make is they're not launching new ad sets and campaigns regularly enough, okay? If you have a winning campaign, right, and using ad set level optimization, not campaign budget optimization, that's a different thing, but using ad set optimization, you need to feed that almost daily. New ad sets, new ad sets, new ad sets, new ad sets. Always be launching new ad sets to your winning product. If it's a, you're using CPO, always launch new campaigns to your product, right? Feed it new every single day, okay? And, and that said, right, when it comes to targeting, okay, this is something I didn't write down, but it just occurred to me as I was making this video. Okay, let's just say you're in the fishing niche and you target the word fishing rod and, you, and the fish, word fishing rod didn't work for you. You might think, well, fishing rod's bad, but no, 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 no. It just mean, it could mean that on that given day, because Facebook is an auction system, right? That there was a lot of people targeting that particular interest on that given day. So two or three or four days later, you come back and retarget, and, and sorry, hit it again, it's not retarget, but target it again, and it will, it will succeed for you. So go back and retest the same interest. Don't, don't just assume that because some interest worked this time, they will, they will continue to work next time, and vice versa. I, I'm always rotating through a massive amount of interest, all, all the time. 
and the results are all, all drastically different. Okay, next one. Writing existing ad sets or campaigns too long. Okay, so I'm not, I, I don't have time to go into our all testing data. We were able to, to eliminate most of our ad sets within $5. Sometimes we spend a little bit more. If you know the matrix, the system that we use, but that's for my people in my mastermind course or my coach, private coaching students. I can't go into details on this video because it's too long and complicated. But anyway, the point is you should be analyzing your ads when you first launch them, okay? So after you launch them, assume they pass your, your testing phase, whatever testing phase you're using, okay? And you start to ride this and it gets into a week or two weeks or three weeks or wherever, how long it is, right? One of the biggest mistakes people, people make is they look at lifetime results. It's a big mistake because a lot of ad sets and campaigns will start to tank. This is the reality. For some reason, they start off good and they go bad, okay? So when it comes to ad sets, right? <laughs> I have this stupid joke, sorry. Ladies, please don't be offended. I'm just kidding, but um, it's you know, kind of like a woman is to their man, you know? You could be the best, most gentlemanly guy and help be, do everything for her, you know, but that was in the past. It's all about what have you done for me lately? So look at the last two or three days of data. And if the, if the campaign, I don't care if the ad set or campaign is profitable long-term, if it's the last two or three days, if it's performing badly, I kill it, I nip that in the bud because it's tanking, okay? I nip that in the bud because it's tanking. So kill it. And here's, a, here's another huge one, okay? This is a big, big mistake. And I see this a lot. Riding the same post too long, okay? So especially if, if you're in a niche that's viral, like the beer niche is for me, and you get thousands of shares and hundreds of comments, you know, I, you know, I, even I fall for this, even though I'm experienced, I still sometimes fall in this trap. I want to keep those 10,000 shares as social proof, you know, 3,000 comments as social proof, okay? I want to keep that. So I keep running traffic to the same post. More traffic, more traffic, more traffic. Well, eventually, Facebook, and I can't tell you their exact algorithm because they don't reveal it, right? But there is a point when Facebook says, enough, enough. You've been running too much traffic to this one post and the results will start to tank. <laughs> Goodbye. Well, what you can do is you can take the exact same content that you had in that post and repost it again. And often that will revive it, okay? Or you can test other creators. You, maybe you should be testing other ad creators from the beginning, right? But don't be married to a post. That's a serious mistake. If you have a winning ad creative, you can repost it over again. I have one ad creative, and this is gonna blow your mind, but I've been running this exact same image since October 2016. That's right, October 2016. Now, I've not been running to the same post. I keep reposting it, reposting it, reposting it, reposting it, reposting it, and it works every single time because it's a winning image, okay? So don't be like so obs obsessed with your social proof on a given post. Just go ahead and repost it again. All right, that said, if you want to if you have any questions, you can private message me. If you're interested in my private coaching or my mastermind course group, now is actually the ideal time, guys. We're literally one month away from the boom time. So now would be a perfect time to get started. If you're interested in that, private message me, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.